Hey, welcome to Adventures with Babs. We are painting a Novak Scorp Tech Lord, the Master of the Red Harvest. This is probably one of the bigger Necron models I've got. We got it in the Royal Court set from a couple of issues back of Imperium Magazine. As you saw, I'm kicking things off with Lead Belcher. And we're going to just completely dry brush the whole model with this. Nice easy step. And while I'm doing that, Let's learn about the Scorp Tech Lord, also known as the Master of the Red Harvest. These were once proud Necron nobles who have been infested by the Destroyer Curse and now seek only to slaughter organic beings. Their bodies are twisted mockeries of the Necron form, modified and enhanced with only killing in mind. So this guy has, a, yeah, this Lord has three different weapons, the first being the gun, which is a mythic eliminator. This is basically a, a basic gorse weapon, causes organic matter to rip apart, as well as armor to just break open. He then has his massive, if I was an orc, I would call it a chopper, but he calls it a hyperphase harvester. That uses up an entire arm. It is a massive blade. It's huge. You'll see it later when we're painting it. But this thing can just cleave through armor, bodies, flesh. Doesn't matter what it is. It will chop down everything. And then he has this creepy claw. That if I was a converter, I would be using that claw for a her and black heart model. It's so cool. It's called a flensing claw sorry if i'm pronouncing these wrong as you know by now on this channel i'm very bad at recreating these words crafted with the cleaving of a weak organic material in mind these blade talons possess a razor sharp edge enabling the scorp tech lord to shred lightly armored infantry with but a flick of its powerful limb so it's safe to say this is a close combat monster he obviously looks like the free Scorp tech that we already painted up. I'm going to take the paint scheme a little bit further than I did with them, so you'll see a few changes, but nothing too crazy that you won't be able to follow along with. So I think we're getting pretty close to the end of that first stage. I'll catch a few more spots and then I'll let it dry, and then we can come back in a minute. So a minute has passed, we are now moving on to the next stage, which is going to be the Storm Host Silver. I don't normally do this. I've decided to do it with this model because it's so big that I think this extra step will really help. But I'm basically doing another dry brush. I'm trying to just go up, down, up, down. Nothing too crazy. I'm going to leave some dark areas, but for the most part, I'm kind of just dabbing it on anywhere that I think some extra light is needed to be shown on the model. I'm just gonna like dab 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 that way it's gonna offer some additional depth to the different areas but also just make it a little bit more interesting. This guy has some thick gaffs that are going to stay this gun metal color. I find that if I just leave him with lead belcher, he's going to look real dark. So this extra step is definitely going to help. And as we continue the extra steps that I don't normally do, I've grabbed the Iaden yellow. And I am going to find anything that I want to paint green. So these weird bauble effects that he has scattered across his body. There's a couple on his shoulders as well gonna get his eyes this is very hard I make an absolute mess of it but it's fine I'm able to clean it up heads gonna be red anyway so it doesn't make a huge difference and then the real fiddly bit trying to get these little uh, indents on his weapon now I'm not entirely sure this shows up <laughs> when I've done the green but in my head I feel like it's gonna help so we're gonna go with it and see how we do and of course I'm also going to do his chest but this takes me a while so let's skip forward and I'll catch you in a minute 
Okay, at this stage we grab the first of the contrast paints, Nasdreg Yellow. Now you've seen me do this many times. I find that if you paint this color over silver, it makes kind of like a brassy dark gold effect. So I'm going to use it on his big medallion that he's got around his neck. I don't actually know if it's a medallion. It's probably something a lot fancier than that, but in my mind it's a medallion. It's a nice easy step, very easy to follow. It's two massive fat lines and then the glyph in the middle that's coffin shaped. Super easy to do. And then once that's done, with that done, we can then move on to his claws. These are big mean pieces. I was going to do them all red initially, but then I thought that's going to be too much red. So you can see me pondering the question here. Do I do it? Do I leave it? I decide I'm going to do his fingers in this format as well. I'm worried that if I did his claws red and the back of his hand red, he's suddenly a lot of red. Especially his head and his chest and his shoulders are going to be red. He's going to end up looking like some weird robotic Santa Claus, which I do not want. So I'm just going to carefully work my way around these Freddy Krueger-esque fingernails. do enjoy painting Necrons. They're pretty... And sorry, it's locked onto my hand rather than the model. It's rather therapeutic. They're simple, they're clean. Obviously you can paint them dirty if you want, but their schemes are very straightforward. They are robots at the end of the day. It makes them a real joy to paint. When, uh, especially as I've been coming off a load of Judge Dredd and Slain models. Going back to some chunky 40k, it's quite refreshing. We're going to start doing a little mix of figures on the channel. Leaning more into Warlord games, but we're going to have the odd Warhammer. Main reason is I don't play Warhammer. I love the models, don't get me wrong, but I've just not played a game now in two editions. So I think uh, my love needs to move on to the systems that I am playing focus more in on them. Up next comes the Black Templar contrast paint and I'm gonna try and hit up all the piping and anything that makes sense to be black so the gun is gonna get hit up with this. I've used a little bit of the medium to water it down. I don't want it to be super black I just want it to give it a very uh, a very heavy wash, make it look like a very dark, beaten up metal. As you can see, I'm getting his kind of neck veins, I guess you would call them. Whatever connects to his skull and feeds the fluids around. Gonna get the gum feeds, the weapon feeds, and some other points around the model. But this is a pretty basic step, so I won't bore you too much with it. Just got to finish up the gun. I'm going to take this moment to say like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what games you're all playing at the moment. I'm always on the lookout for new games. I do have a list of stuff that I want to play. We've got uh, the Alien RPG I really want to play. Got the Another Glorious Day in the Marine Corps. We've also got the uh, Station, Space Station Zero that I really want to try out. So there's lots coming on this channel. I just don't know what order to do them in. So let me know. If there's something in that list that you, tweaks your interest, drop me a comment let me know. That may be the catalyst to get me moving forwards on some of these projects. So as you can see, he is starting to look pretty badass. We haven't got much colours on. But between the blacks and the yellows, he's looking pretty good. I'm pretty... I'm pretty happy with it, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully by now the yellow has dried and I have grabbed the orc green, which is my green of choice for the necrons, and I am just covering over the yellow. Now for the most part this green is going to completely cover it, but I'm hoping in some parts the yellow will push its way through and lighten up the green and just give it a weird alien 
green glow. I haven't got a Tesseract glow yet. I think that's coming in one of these magazines. But I haven't opened it yet. But once we do, I'll probably be going over all the greens on the characters with that. But uh, for now, this is my go-to method. As you can see, once again, I messed up the eyes, so the thumb comes to the rescue. And then, yeah, we're just going to pick out all the baubles, everything that we painted yellow. Now needs to turn green. And it's so easy. The fact that I know that red is going to be one of the last colours I put on takes a lot of pressure off being neat. I know that red can cover up a lot of mistakes. I am going to do his entire blade in green as well. So while I'm doing that, we'll uh, skip forward a little bit. Now we move into the main colour of the model. For this we are using Flesh Tira Red. I absolutely adore this colour over a metallic silver. The red covers it up great, but it still keeps a little touch of the shine. So as you can see, I kicked things off with the belt. And now I'm carefully working my way around the ribcage. I've got to make sure I don't flood the green areas. If I do, that's going to be an absolute pain to fix. So it's one of those rare occasions where I slow down. And I'm going to take my time. Just want to get it right. I want to do it once, I want to get it right. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Now, if you are playing the newest edition of 40k, let me know how you're doing. Are you enjoying the game? Should I give it a go? Personally, I the time that I spend playing a game of 40k, I'd rather get two games of Judge Dredd in. Or, I don't know, play some roleplay game. I just feel very uh, tired of having to commit an entire afternoon to one game. Maybe I've I've lost the will and the co the concentration needed to do it. Maybe I'm part of the TikTok generation now. I like quick fixes as opposed to these long drawn out games. But let me know, how is the new 40k? Have they got rid of the bloat that was affecting it? Does it play easily? If you're a Necron player, it'd be great to hear from you, because I think Necrons would be my army of choice. As we're coming to the end of the Imperium magazine series, it's definitely the Necrons that have stood out to me. After painting a few of the other stuff, I know I definitely don't want to do Admech. Uh, Space Marines are Space Marines. I've done so many Space Marine armies now. That doesn't phase me. Uh, the Sisters of Battle, were they're fun to paint. Not sure I'd want to do a whole army though. So really the Necrons did stand out. They would be fighting against Orcs. I do want to do an Orc army at some point. But right now I'm just not feeling it. So I think we're going to finish off the Imperium magazine and then just see what I've got left on my shelves and just work on clearing the backlog. I think that's my main issue. There's too much going on. So I did spill into the green on this gem. As you can see, I've just slightly damped a smaller, thinner paintbrush. I'm trying to lift the red out as much as I can. And then once I've cleaned enough of the red out, I'm just going to get some orc flesh and recover it. Because in the process of lifting out the wet red, it took the green off as well and started to show the yellow underneath. I think I've fixed it. Now all we got left is the shoulder pad, so I'll come back when we're done. Right, everything is now pretty much dry. And it's at this stage that I decided to do an extra step. So I grabbed the Mephiston Red. And I'm just going to... Initially I start line highlighting stuff. Or edge highlighting, I guess it should be called. And I definitely keep it on the belt and the rib cage, But then you'll see that... I realize that's stupid. So I start doing kind of like a heavy overbrushing of areas. I find, especially for my characters, I just want to brighten them up a little bit. It will help them, even though this guy is ginormous, 
it'll help him stand out against the rank and file. He just is going to look brighter. He's going to pop. It's going to make him more interesting to see on the table. And then with that step complete, there's only one left, the nun oil. Everybody loves a little bit of nun oil. We are going to hit up everything pretty much. We're going to do the base. We're going to cover any silver with it now just to knock it back a little. Though I love the brightness of it. It's a little bit too bright, so we're going to cover that all in nun oil and his weird medallion chain that he's got. And then I'll take some pretty shots, and I'll just do this one last time. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Drop me a comment about what games you're playing, how you feel about the current state of 40k. And uh, yeah, I'd love to have a chat in the comments. So jump on down, leave me a comment, and I'll catch you in the next video. As always, cheers for watching.